A family on Long Island is asking, how could this happen? A stranger being buried in their loved one's grave. We first brought you the exclusive story last night, and now we're learning more about this grave mistake. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is demanding answers. A heartbreaking sight as grave diggers work to disinter a body mistakenly buried in the plot meant for a beloved 100 year old World War II veteran and great grandfather Jack Krimsky. We want answers. It's horrible. We can't grieve. We can't have Shiva. We can't console one another until he's buried. We spent the day searching for answers at Beth Moses Cemetery in West Babylon. We knocked, rang doorbells, saw managers within avoiding us. I was hoping to be buzzed in, please. We're trying to find out if you have any words for the family of Jack Grimsky. This is private property. You have to leave. You the funeral director from the chapel called me out and she said, they buried somebody in your father's grave. We can't do the funeral. The family spent more than $300,000 over the last half century for 18 plots in the area. He was a wonderful man and because he was supposed to have military honors. Who is accountable? We next tried the phone. Well, can you tell us how it happened? No, I cannot. I'm sorry. Can you tell us who is buried there? I cannot. Have a nice day. Thank you. The cemetery finally called the family to say the woman wrongly buried in Jack Krimsky's plot is being exhumed and moved nearby to her final resting place within Beth Moses in what they called a private religious process. Suffolk's health department explained it does not need to be present for the plot transfer because it is within cemetery grounds, but Beth Moses is obligated to alert the state to its error. They had to take him back from Long Island to New Jersey to put him back in the refrigerator. Do you know how I feel that my dad's in the refrigerator? Dozens of family members flew in for a funeral now delayed by days, religious upheaval for a grieving family and an Army Corps sergeant who deserved honor. From West Babylon, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.